You're welcome and thank you all so much. So, God is good, right? Amen. Amen. So, not only do we have a very special event that we have today, we've also been blessed to have wonderful weather. So, uh, sometimes we have a little bit of cloud shade and no rain, so it, it's coming together. So, we appreciate each and every one of you coming over for this very special, momentous occasion. We've reached a milestone in our community. So with that, um, I am so pleased and so honored and privileged to welcome the president of New River Community and Technical College, Dr. Bonnie Copenhaver. Please make her feel welcome. Thank you very much. Um, and as Wes said, this is a momentous day. And it is my honor, as he said, to be the president of New River Community and Technical College. And we are very thrilled to be able to make this announcement today about the partnership between New River and Summers County ARH Hospital. New River Community and Technical College will be offering classes at the Summers County ARH starting this fall, which begins on Monday, August the 22nd. Students will now have the option of selecting the hospital site location to complete the, cer the Certificate of Applied Science in Practical Nursing. And we are planning to bring more classes and programs here in the future. Working with the hospital and with Wes and his staff here, we have formed what I would truly call in, in every essence of the word, a partnership between the college and the hospital. We both were able to see that education, education and access to more training for people in Summers County was of vital importance. And we saw the opportunities and, and some of the challenges to doing this. And we are thankful, the college is very thankful for the hours of conversation, the brainstorming, um, working our way through any problems or challenges that we have. And it's because of this relationship with the Summers County ARH Hospital that I can truly say they are an exemplary example of a partnership. And the college is proud to stand here today as we work to serve and improve the lives of those who live here in Summers County. The college as you know, has community in its name, and we do take that relationship with our community very, very seriously. And we have multiple partners, but to have classes at an on-site facility like this with a partner is the first for the college. So today you are here celebrating something that is a milestone for the college. Um, and this practical nursing program is here to help fill that need of nurses um, that is so very much in need right now. I have had also a wonderful staff um, of college employees that have worked on this event, and I wanna take a minute um, to recognize them and, and let you help me recognize them. Um, those who, uh, as, as Wes said, I sent my A team to do this, and so if they would stand up or wave so that they can be seen. So we have Dr. Wendy Patrick-Quinn, who's the Dean of Professional and Transfer Programs. Unfortunately, he is not here today, but Mr. Dwayne Napier is our Director of Nursing. And we have Ms. Joanna Perry, the Director of the LPN Program, which you're gonna to get to hear from her in just a second. Um, and he also could not be here today, but was Mr. Steve Losick, Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Grants. And all of these work together to bring this program to fruition in approximately one year. Um, you may be wondering why I have an institutional effectiveness person on my A team. It's because the paperwork to accreditors, um, boards of nursing, so on and so forth, is not a small endeavor. And, and he was able to do all of that work for us. So thank you so much for coming and being so supportive of both the college and the hospital. And it's my pleasure now to turn the podium over to Ms. Perry. myself. Uh, I am Joanna Perry. 
Terry. I'm the director for the practical nursing program at New River Community and Technical College. And I want to start by saying that it has been such an honor and a pleasure working with the ARH team to expand our practical nursing program to the Summers County ARH campus. And it is so exciting to see what we started as just an ideal in August last year to finally being implemented at this campus today. So it's such an honor and a pleasure and thank you so much for everything you've done to, to help us along the way to get that started. Um, the, the partnership that we have is a wonderful opportunity for our practical nursing students um, completing the program at this site. Not only will students be able to learn in state-of-the-art classrooms and simulation labs on site, but will also be able to complete most clinical experiences within the hospital campus. Um, students will also have the opportunity to complete any prerequisite courses using our state-of-the-art Zoom room equipment at this campus also. So there's really no need for a lot of traveling or anything like that for the students. Um, because we are one of only two practical nursing programs offered within a community college setting in the state, students who complete the practical nursing program at New River are well positioned for upward career mobility and have a more seamless transition into registered nursing programs if they desire to do that. Um, our program is an 11 month program that contains three 15 week semesters beginning in August and finishing in July each year. Um, once a student completes the program, they are eligible to sit for the NCLEX PN licensure exam. Um, we are now accepting applications for the fall 2023 cohort, and the application process can be found on our LPN page on the New River website. And we will also be hosting a live virtual informational session on June 21st at 7 p.m. for anyone interested in obtaining information about beginning the program. Um, and the login information for that, that meeting will be published on our New River website. This partnership will have many positive outcomes for anyone who would like to begin a career in nursing. And I'm very excited for what the future holds for the program, the hospital, the community, as we move forward with providing practical nursing education in Summers County. So thank you so much for allowing me to speak and I'll turn it over to Webb. Thank you so much. And again, um, it, it's hard to really fathom sometimes when you're standing in the midst of a major milestone for what this is for the county. This is such an important endeavor that is happening. And we are honored and, and truly, as Dr. Hopenhaver said, the team that she sent over is what I call the A team. We've had the best of the best. I couldn't have imagined it being any better with the team that we've had bringing education to Summers County. It is my understanding that this is the first time in the county's history that they have had anything to be blessed that is greater than the high school level education here for the higher learning. And it starts with New River. This is the start of something great. We will continue to uplift. What we have for the licensed practical nursing program will perpetuate something that is needed, which is healthcare. So this touches every area for hospital, for clinic, for nursing home, you name it, all the things that are needed here in our county, in our region. And, and as she shared, it is a unique opportunity because it will also provide not just an LPN degree and program, but it is a career path, a career path that can lead to other great things, a degree that you will get from New River that for most everything else, everywhere else, you wouldn't have had this opportunity. So we are truly blessed in our county. And this is just the start of many great things to come. And we're so appreciative of this in this moment. And I do not want this moment to go unnoticed for how important this is. Also, in addition to how wonderful New River and their team has been, I want to truly thank the County Commission. Represented here today, we have Charlie Saunders, and Mike Gore, who are here with us, who've given up their time 
the building and the land is owned by the county that we are blessed to be the lead people to rent the space have this in partnership with the ARH, Main Street Hinton, and now also with New River to come on our campus so that we can do multiple things right here for the convenience of the students. Prices of gas and other things we know hits everybody very challenging with this. So to do multiple things on the same campus is such a great benefit. When you go to New River and you finish the program, 100% job placement for something that's needed. Almost all expenses should be covered with one program or another for everybody. How wonderful is this? This is fantastic. So with that, I do also want to recognize Mayor Jack Scott couldn't be here because he has a doctor's appointment. Ted Kula couldn't be here because he has a doctor's appointment. And again, it goes to show how important it is for healthcare because each of them needed a nurse to help work up what was needed for that. So, but also from the city, want to recognize Larry Metter, who's on the county commission and also our local advisory. So we appreciate him giving us time to be here as well. So for those that are on our local advisory, we have multiple ones that are here. So if you would just raise your hands. We have Larry, Cleo Matthews, Nesta Logan, Charlie Saunders, and President Skip Mills. So we, we thank you each for your guidance and your leadership and your support. They're small but mighty. They can do many great things. We appreciate their value. So I'm just one person and I'm blessed to be here. And I want to introduce the other medical leadership that we have on our ARH. So representing regionally, um, we have Dr. Uh, David Blaine, who is ENT and Chief Medical Officer for our region. Uh, Angie Rivera from Beckley ARH as the Chief Nursing Officer. And Robin Chinumba, who is the Chief Nursing Officer that we're blessed to have here, right here in Summers County. So, come on up. I think uh, everybody's really shared a lot uh, already. Thank you for those great words. I think the one thing that I'd like to add as a physician is just how crucial our nursing staff is to the operations of the hospital daily. It couldn't have been more evident over the last two years with COVID. Uh, we've had a lot of transition with nurses moving from place to place uh, for opportunity and who wouldn't want to do that um, but it really highlighted the shortages that we have in nursing we have hard-working docs uh, the docs tend to be committed to an area and tend to stay our, our nurses they're young they see opportunity and there's been so much mobility that uh, literally our wheels have been spinning on a daily basis to try to look at how we can find ways to retain nurses. I think we do really well here in Summers County overall, and that's probably thanks to Robin and thanks to Wes. But in our community, we've had uh, a significant amount of turnover. Uh, but what I see here is just, again, a wonderful partnership with New River, an opportunity for these nurses to uh, see ARH uh, from the inside out, uh, to really get to know the staff, and as, as we, discuss ARH in a corporate level, it's really a family. And I don't know if already New River has that feeling that you're being introduced into a family. But it's a family, and when these nurses come through, I think they're going to immediately see that type of relationship and an opportunity for work, leadership, and growth. Um, and that's all attributed to Angie and Robin. Um, I remember sitting at the very early stages about a year ago when this idea was just being tossed around. And Robin took the lead, made the contacts, and we're here today. So again, I'm proud of Robin, I'm proud of Wes, I'm proud of uh, New River for believing in ARH. I think that uh, this is just the start of a very long, healthy, and vibrant relationship. And what, I, what I'm really looking forward to is not only having the opportunity to bring new and, and and smart young minds into nursing, but also have them stay in our community. So I want to thank you, and I'm going to pass the mic over to Angie next. Thank you. So 
I'm Andy Rivera. I'm the Chief Nurse Officer at Beckley, and I am here representing um, the Regional Approach. I am the sister hospital over there in Beckley, and we really are a family, um, as Dr. Blaine said. And I am super excited for New River to be joining our family. Thank you. Um, as the nurse leaders, Robin and I really wanted to take a moment to say we need these nurses. They're a vital part of our community, a vital part of our hospital. Um, I'm looking forward to them to coming out to Beckley and do some in rotation um, so I can meet these students uh, personally, invite them to be part of our family, invite them to stay in our communities because Beckley and Summers has a great place to work. Um, we just want to welcome New River, welcome their students to our family. I'm looking very forward to this program. So thank you so much for partnering with us. Here at Summers, we just want to thank New River and let you know that we're here for you. Anything that occurs, we're here to support you in any decisions you make. And again, welcome, and I am so glad to have you aboard with us. With that, um, again, want to thank everybody, and, and as was stated earlier, this is going down this August.